Hello everybody, I hope that you're doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be going through Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, XRP and Link uh, because I've thoroughly enjoyed trading altcoins over the last 48 hours. It's been a joy, it really has. Uh, so I really want to cover the next important support and resistance levels on those. Uh, but I will, will look, would like to start with uh, Bitcoin seeing as it has had a major move down during the night, okay? So let's start with Bitcoin and go over these levels. Uh, firstly, where we've bounced from, because uh, although just, you know, I've been really transparent with my trades recently. Um, and what we can say is I, I hadn't been trading Bitcoin over the last 48 hours as it was in this range. OK, so as it was in here and I wanted to focus on alts personally, I was not any even in a long or short on Bitcoin. I was just flat. OK, but what we can say is it was staring you in the in the face, potentially, of, of, of these equal lows for that liquidity grab. And in the end, it did come down. But, you know, my focus was on alts. But uh, what we can see here is, you know, that move to the downside and just absolutely perfect absolutely perfect the 1414 lining up with a negative 236 that's fibonacci confluence right there okay that's your fib confluence uh what was also making that you know sort of a, a perfect region for a bounce is you also had a horizontal level here okay just so you know for real truth really em emphasizing that i was not in a short here but we can see why it did bounce okay uh, so with that in mind, okay, I just will clear off, off these fibs. Oh, yeah, so this was my last trade, as you all know. Obviously, we went, we went from low to high down to that 618 up to that high. And then we obviously ranged for 40, around 48 hours. Okay, and that's when the alts sort of took off. And we can see Bitcoin now around 6% to the downside. Um, well, alts are up like 20%. I mean, ask yourself, where's the opportunity there? <laughs> uh, but what, what, all I'm going to say here is on on the on a sort of bigger term view on Bitcoin, we have to really acknowledge, although we are finding support for 10.5, no, sorry, apologies, 9,500, okay? That's sort of your local support. And then uh, I remember this level very well over the last uh, month or so, 10,025 is, is going to be a resistance. Um so your closer levels, but then on on the on a bit bit of a bigger view, you're looking at resistance 10,362, 10,362 uh, up to eleven thousand two hundred, and on the flip side, support obviously our monthly sat there at nine two fifty, and the the bottom of this support sat at around uh, nine thousand and fifty. Okay, so those are your sort of macro views coming into backed on Monday. Uh, I will be live streaming on Monday because I believe we're going to see such a uh, great potentially movements and, and i'm not saying uh it's going to go as everybody expects i'm i actually prefer a fake out uh, of, of this pattern personally but uh we'll, we'll see how it goes I'll, I'll trade the break but i really really will favor a fake out um i just think it would be perfect <laughs> uh, so we'll see how that trades whether it breaks up or down in the coming uh well potentially uh you know backed on monday so we'll see how that launch goes um i'm hyped to trade that i'm not gonna lie um so yeah moving on to ethereum let's just stay on the usd pair for now so ethereum Okay, really nicely in the end. We did, in fact, come up to that daily level. Okay, did come up to that daily level. For me, it was a take profit on a long rather than a short. But I know people in my group did actually short this, so well done for them. Um, you know, we did, in fact, come outside of this outside of this channel up to that daily level. Started to get a little bit of bearish divergences, and you have fallen down. Where have we come down to though? Okay, our lower daily support and, and within 50 cent, you have, you know, 50 cent, there's never going to be a, or no, no, potentially just like you come above here by say 50 cent, you, you're missing this bottom one by 50, you know, it's all, uh, don't ever play for perfect retest. If you see a level on my chart, you can guarantee I'm, I'm never playing exactly to the cent on that level. You have to even front run, you know, you have to expect it's not going to ever be perfect. What we can see here is resistance from our top daily support from our bottom daily, uh, which is also confluence so more or less of the upward sloping parallel channel. So really on Ethereum, I am looking at support from $202 or what we bounced off uh, $203. So $203 was the bounce. OK, but I'm really looking from around there to $197, $195, OK, for, for support. OK, and on the flip side, it, it has to be still acknowledged that 216 is our resistance on that daily resistance. OK, if you do, do come above that, then you'll, you'll be looking up to the highs of 240. Uh, so that's Ethereum. Moving on to Litecoin, uh, this was pretty perfect. Okay, so we did in fact take out these highs here on Litecoin. Just oh, it's so nice. So eighty dollars resistance, then we come down perfectly to our daily support. Okay, sat at seventy two dollars, and that is a perfect bounce. <laughs> that was perfect, uh, literally to to the dollar. Uh, so yeah, that that's the you know in the in the near term eighty dollars support seventy two resistance. Uh, then I guess up this if we come back to this upward sloping trend line again, you're looking at around sixty eight dollars. Okay, sixty nine dollars, seventy dollars. Uh, so you know that's your sort of intermediate support and intermediate resistance eighty four dollars, uh, high ninety two dollars. Okay, 
Uh, then as promised, I would also cover XRP, which I think has been really nice. This is why I don't remove my channels. As you all know, originally we went from low to high, 618 bounce. Okay, from that 618, we got rejection from the bottom of the channel, uh, support from the bottom, rejection from the top, deviation back into the middle, back off the top. So this is perfect. Uh, expect this to continue ranging if we're honest. So if we are looking there at support 2820 and the intermediate resistance 3019, I'm not going to give a longer projection on this because it's only for day trading in my opinion um and lastly i want to end with link this was a really really perfect trade and and this was one another one so just like you saw on xrp another one that traded perfectly from this 618 just perfection if i'm honest okay so I was in a long from the bottom here, and this is a, over a 20% rise now. What we can see is clearly, there's clearly a, a supply coming in at this top weekly level, okay? My target, in fact, was just to hire these wicks. And uh, this is what I went through in my contenders live stream yesterday. This was my trade of the week. Uh, literally the most perfect entry, and if I'm honest, perfect exit although i could have got a few more percent i'm, I'm very happy with that 20 percent um and then also what i done on the stream last night was give everyone this trend line and then on the this was where i was doing the stream and we saw the bounce from the trend line got a, another perfect touch while i was asleep at 1 a.m and you saw another over 10 percent bounce so this was just oh technical analysis respected to the t absolutely lovely on link okay i'm not gonna lie but we do have to really clearly see that there's that there's there is that rejections coming in around this weekly so still looking at the weekly you know, if you want to look higher to this uh, 0.5 fib back coming in at around 202, okay, psychological to, you know, to just say 2000 here, okay, but we are clearly seeing a resistance coming in now on support on the flip side, I think I'd have to load up fibs here if I'm honest, and I'd say support around 1762, uh, down to 618, where it really starts to get impulsive, um, so yeah, that's my view on uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum, uh, and well, a few, a few of those alts that I've mentioned, obviously we have seen that move down on Bitcoin, uh, you know, I, I'm actually, I'm off, I'm off to Madrid, I, I, I've, I'm, I haven't made this public to everyone. I've told some of my group, but I'm selling three of my houses in, in England. I'm looking to get into like the Airbnb now. <laughs> so I want to get a Airbnb basically, or, or just a, a flat in, in Madrid and Airbnb out this for like the whole year. It's like, um, yeah, I'm a bit late to the Airbnb sort of business, but uh, it should be fun, I think, to, uh, to do that. So yeah, I want to get one in Madrid. So I'm off to there later today. Uh, so that should be fun. Uh, business and pleasure, as always. <laughs> Getting over my cold, and which is nice as well. Obviously, uh, you know, it's a little bit... Yeah, just life at the moment is hectic, but... Uh you know, I also have to do my business as well. So uh, that would be fun few days, I guess. Uh, nice to like take my mind off of things and, and hopefully get a little bit of relax. Uh, but we'll see how things go. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I really, really am expecting fun and games going into back on the 23rd. Uh, thoroughly looking forward to trading that. I'm not going to lie. Absolutely hyped to trade it. <laughs> um, I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, my view on alts is that there's still opportunities here. I, th I believe everybody's going to be extremely scared after the moves down today, but you do have to see the opportunity there. There is still, you know, even even if we just look on the 10 minute chart this morning, you see you saw bounces, you know, take place. You know, people scared, you know, to, to trade these levels. Sort of that, that was our clear support coming in. You actually here take the low and sort. You know, there's there's clearly opportunities still on longs there. So um. Don't be scared, I guess. Just trade the chart for what they are. Uh, so, yeah, I'll end with that. Obviously, if you are interested in in learning how I do things like this, then uh, you can come across to chartchampions.com. And we have now over, I'm, I would say, at least 60 or 70 hours of educational videos. So it's just lovely. And uh, then we obviously have a whole trading community of, you know, really great traders now coming together, you know, seeing the way that I trade, taking that and, like, putting it into their own charts and then you've got ideas flowing left right and center from everyone throughout the day in a really great community it, it really is great so that's uh, another plus so if you are interested just go across chartchampions.com and make that decision if you'd like um but yeah obviously i'm i'm still focusing more on uh altcoins uh until really we we break the overall lower high of this move okay and that's the lower high this is all just internal for me and although there's opportunities here absolutely you know you see some of these fib pull obviously that perfect fib pulls on on each of these moves have actually been perfect so there's still opportunity there but i'm still focusing on alts in the very short term until we come to around the weekend sunday's close uh monday unless we obviously start breaking down uh you know over the next 24 hours from this high or low so uh yeah hope that you have enjoyed this video um and thank you all so much i'll Catch you in the next one. Have a brilliant weekend uh, and enjoy the weather. It's, it's beautiful and sunny. So thank you so much and uh, have just enjoy trading this. It is absolutely perfection. <laughs> thank you so much, everybody. Cheers. Good night. Good night. What am I on about?
good day, <laughs> good night, wherever you are in the world. Thank you and goodbye. <laughs> Bye.